Hello James, I have one question for you. May I ask you now? Sure Jack. It is my pleasure to answer your questions. What is it? In the morning Susan already explained me about Unix operating system and its history. Now I got a question what exactly Unix administration means and what are the roles and responsibilities of Unix administrator? That is a good question. Unix administration is all about installing, configuring and managing Unix operating system in a networked environment. You know the purpose of computer network, don't you? Yes, I know. The main function of computer network is sharing information and sharing resources among multiple computers, which are connected together either by wired or by wireless. Good. You will know more about Unix administration tasks in coming days. For today, you just focus on the Unix user administration part. User administration, what does it mean? And why it is useful? Okay, in Unix terminology every person who want to access a Unix server is a Unix user, including you and me. In our company we have many employees who are accessing our Unix servers, every day. All of them are also treated as Unix users. These users work together as small groups and internally share their data with each other in an orderly manner. Okay, it sounds like our college project work. Exactly, it is the same concept here. Okay, so what exactly we do here to manage these Unix users? As a Unix administrator, it is our job to create a user account to each employee who want to access our server. And also we have to create group account for every team who want to work together. Okay, that's it? Actually, it is ongoing job. Once we create user and group accounts, we need to manage them regularly as and when users joins to the company or leave the company. And also we need to manage the groups when the users moving from one team to another team. Interesting. How do I learn it today? I guess there is a request today to create new user accounts for the development team, recently joined to our company. Susan will be working on this request, just sit with her and learn. You can reach me anytime, if you have any other questions. One final point for you. Even though, we Unix administrators are called as Unix users, we use a separate user account called root user to perform Unix administration operations. Root user also called as super user because it is having complete privileges on the Unix server. Please remember that having root user access is not only a privilege but it is a great responsibility for the Unix administrator. Sure James. I will learn the user administration from Susan, today. Thanks very much for your time.